shaken as we are, so wan with care, find ye a time for peace and to breathe short winds of accents of who broils to be commenced in strands of far emote. Oh, more the thirsty entrance of this soil shall daub her lips with her own children's blood. No more shall trenching war channel her fields, nor booze her armed hooves if the flowerets of hostile paces. O oh, supposed eyes, which like the meteors of a troubled heaven, all of one nature, of one substance, fed, if they thee meet in the intestine shock and furious close of civil butchery, shall now in mutual well be seeming ranks arch all one way, and be no more opposed against acquaintance kindred and allies, the edge of war, like an ill-sheathed knife, no more shall cut his master. Therefore, friends, as far as to the sepulchre of Christ, whose soldier now, under whose blessed cross, we are impressed and engaged to fight, forthwith a power of English shall be levy, whose arms were molded in their mother's womb, to chase those pagans in those holy fields which 1400 years ago were now for our advantage on the bitter cross. But this, our purpose now is 12 months old, and both this tis who tell you he will go. Therefore, we meet not now, and let me hear of you, my gentle cousin, ask for them. What yesternight our council did decree, in forwarding this dear expedient. My liege, this haste was hot in question, and many limits of the charge set down but yesternight, when all thwart there came a post from Wales loaded with heavy news, whose worst was that the noble Mortimer, leading the men of Herefordshire to fight against the irregular and wild Glendower, was by the hands of that Welshman taken. A thousand of his people butchered, upon whose dead corpse there was such misuse, such beastly shameless transformation done by those Welsh women, as may not be without much shame retold or spoken of. It seems then the tidings of this broil break off our business for the Holy Land. This matched with other did, my gracious lord, for more uneven and unwelcome news came from the north. And thus it did import on holy rude day the gallant Hotspur there, young Harry Percy and brave Archibald, that ever noble and approved Scott at Holmden met, where they did spend a sad and bloody hour as by discharge of their artillery. In shape of likelihood the news was told, for he that brought them in the very heat and pride of their contention did take horse, uncertain of the issue anywhere. Here is a good, a true, industrious friend, Sir Walter Blunt, who lighted from his horse, stained with the variation of its soil, betwixt that home din and the seat of ours, and he had brought us smooth and welcome news. The Earl of Douglas is discomfited. Ten thousand bold Scots, Two and twenty nights, it's Sir Walter C. balked in his own blood on, on Homden's plains. A prisoner, Hotspur took, or take the Earl of Fife to Eaton Douglas, the Earl of Athol, of Murray, Angus, and Menteith. Is it not a gallant prize, an honorable spoil, ha cousin? Is it not? It is a conquest for a prince to boast of. Yea, now thou makes me sad, and makes me sin and envy that my lord Northumberland should be the father to so blessed a son, a son who is the theme of honor's tongue, amongst a grove of very straightest plant that is sweet fortune's union and her pride, whilst I, I looking on the praise of him, see riot and his honor stain the brow of my young Harry. Oh, that it could be proved that some night-tripping fairy had exchanged in cradle bedclothes where they lay, and called mine Percy his Plantagenet. But then would I have his Harry, and he mine. But let him from my thoughts. What think you, guys?
of this young person's pride of, of prisoners, which he in this adventure has surprised, to his own use he keeps, and says the word, I shall have none but Mordek, Earl of Fife. This is his uncle's teaching, this is Worcester, malevolent to you in all aspects, which makes him prune himself and bristle up the crest of youth against your dignity. But I have sent for them to answer this. And yet, for a while, ye must neglect our holy purpose to Jerusalem. On Wednesday nights, our council we will hold a yet inzer. But come yourself with speed to us again, for more is to be said and done, and out of anger, shall be uttered. I will, my liege. Once in this I know, but I'll go to the castle.